All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaha Kwadash. Secondly, I want to give double honors to our apostles, our elders, our bishops here at Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well. And Shalom to all you brothers across the four corners of this earth, pushing this word with all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom, Shalom. All right, it's your brother Kabad from GMS Abiyana 144, GMS South Carolina Midlands Camp. Just coming back with a quick video through the power and the spirit of Yahweh Bashum, Yahweh Shai. And Lord willing, I pray this video is edifying and good nourishment to the house of David. All right, and just getting into this video today, I'm going to be uh, touching on the uh, MOTB, man, the mark of the beast. All right, and with that being said, I want to start in the book of Ephesians chapter 5, where it says, um, you know, redeeming the time. All right, going back into measuring the time diligently. All right, because um, the times that we are approaching is going to be a time like no other, as the scriptures tell us in Jeremiah chapter uh, 30 and 7, we'll get it for edification's sake. All right, it's going to be a time like no no other. All right, the time of Jacob's trouble. All right, and um, redeeming the times, man. All right, because you're going to have to be in the mind frame of uh, knowing what to do in, in these perilous times, man. And only the hopeful, humble, fearful elect is going to know what to do in these perilous times that we are approaching, all right, in regards to the MOTB. Because a lot of our people are are, are pretending to be oblivious to the warning that we're giving them, beginning with our apostles and our elders, but giving them the warning, our people the warning as we continue to blow the trumpet and giving our people the warning of not trusting your enemy, Esau, the devil, inevitably not letting this devil uh, uh, put that stamp of his mark upon you, which is the MOTB, the RFID, the so-called microchip, man. All right, so let's start with Jeremiah 30, and we're going to go back to that Ephesians chapter 5 in, in regards to redeeming the times, because as the scripture said, the times are evil, man. These are some evil times that we're approaching, man. All right, as we can look and we can see that, man. You can step outside your front door, turn your television on, whether you're watching cartoons or watching God Dog on uh, reality TV, even sports, man. Everything is as has, has rituals. Everything has demonic views. You know, you can't even, you, you got to be very mindful of what you're allowing to enter into your temple, man. And when I'm talking about your temple, I'm talking about your your spirit, your, your body, your spirit, man. All right? All right? Uh, uh, you got to be mindful of what you allow your eyes to see, what your ears to, to hear, all right? The food that you eat. And this is, this is this, these are all reasons why this is pure hell, man. All right? Pure hell, man. You have to have the spirit of Yahweh, Yahweh Shia upon you to, um, uh, as the scriptures say, uh, when I'm thinking about that gross darkness and, and uh, how the scriptures allude to say, man, that unless the pretty much uh, the, the light of the Lord shall shine upon you, that's the only way that you're going to escape this darkness, man. Because most of our people, hey, our people are, 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 are wilding in darkness, man. They love darkness, man. All right. But Jeremiah 30 and 7, it says, The last will that day is great so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. And that he is going to be saved out of it is what? The hopeful, humble, fearful elect, the ones that is not down with this darkness, man. That's not down with Esau's agenda. And that's not down with allowing Esau to penetrate them with that MOTB, man. That 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 MO, that, that C hip, man. All right, that micro technology, man. All right. Esau has already penetrated the minds of our people with allowing them to believe in white Jesus. All right. Allowing them to believe in that come as you are spirit. All right. Allowing them to believe that you can eat what you want to eat. Pretty much you can do what you want to do, man. All right. Also with that. Oh, 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 God loves the uh, he hates the he hates the sin, but love the sinner, man. All right. All type of just dumb doctrines that this devil has uh, uh, have got our people to prescribe to, man. All right. And here it is. We're in the age of information. And, and as the scriptures tell us in Jeremiah chapter 3 and 15, the Lord. He has given us uh, pastors that's going to feed us with knowledge and understanding. All right, I'll get that for uh, edification's sake because that those are our apostles and our elders, man, that feed us with the knowledge and understanding, man. All right, according, as, as the scripture is going to say, it says, and I will give you pastors, Jeremiah 3 and 15, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. All right, because now we have the elders and apostles, man. All right. Giving us the true knowledge, man. Giving us the breakdown of the scriptures, giving us the meaning of words, man. And also giving us the encouragement and giving us the the the, the push and the unction to know all things, man, according to the scriptures, man. All right. And that's the spirit of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man. All right. To know all things, man, and get an understanding of truth, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man. But as the scriptures let us know, fools despise wisdom and instructions, man. All right. 
And also the fact that our people are going to loathe the law, man. That, that our people are just plain old don't want to do it, man. All right? They just plain old love being st uh, stubborn. All right? And until all shit, until all hell hits the fan, now you're going to have Jake, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans scrambling, man. The scriptures speak about that as the famine is word. The famine of the word in Amos 8 and 11. Because when all, when 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 it's going to be that time to know the Lord, now you're going to have people that want to seek the Lord. Instead of knowing the Lord right now, instead of seeking the Lord right now while you have time. But once again, Jeremiah 3 and 15, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart, all right, to my mind, your love, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And that's the apostles and our elders, man. All right, in the times that we're in right now. Let's get to Ephesians chapter um, 5. And we're going to start at verse 14. Now it says, Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Mashiach shall give thee light. And Yahweh Shai Mashiach is the light of life, man. All right? And the Lord says, He's the light. He that followeth him shall not walk in darkness, man. Roughly paraphrasing John 8 and 12, man. All right? So what are we doing, man? We're, 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 we're followers of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, man. All right? The Lord has, well, he said, If my sheep hear my voice, they follow. This is why you see such a, a, a small following of the true prophets that are following the ways of the Lord, man, because that are not in the ways of the world, man, because the Lord told us that the ways of the world, a, a pretty much the wages of sin is death, man. And what does this world glorify? This world glorifies transgressing the laws, man, which is sin, man. All right. Everything around us is pretty much is it, it, it tells us that's, that's why the scripture say, woe to you that put uh, uh, bitter for sweet, sweet for bitter. All right. And that's, and that's the problem with our people, man. Let's see if we can find that real quick. Let's hold that. Isaiah 5, 20. Now it says, Woe unto them that call evil good, and good evil, that put darkness for light, and light for darkness, and put bitter for sweet, and sweet for bitter. So it says, Woe, death, and destruction, man. All right? Because as we read in uh, Jeremiah 30 and 7, a, 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 a Jacob's trouble, man. A time like no other, man. But see, you have our, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, their minds aren't even on Jacob's trouble, man. All right? Because they're so busy putting bitter for sweet, sweet for bitter. All right? Desiring the day of the Lord, not knowing what end is it for them, man, that obey not the gospel of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, man. All right? Now, this is the back to Ephesians chapter um, 5, verse 14. Now, it says, Whereof he saith, Awake thou that sleepeth, and arise from the dead, and a Mashiach shall give thee light, all right? And the hopeful, humble, fearful elect has awoke from that spirit of slumber, man, all right? From the uh, having those dry bones, man, all right? Coming back to the statute laws and, and commandment, commandments and acknowledging our faults and asking the Lord to forgive us on an everyday basis, man, all right? Presenting our bodies that, as a living sacrifice with hopes of being saved in the spirit of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Now it says, see then ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, Redeeming the day, redeeming the time because the days are evil. You see that the days are evil that we're approaching, man. And the evil day that that's uh, uh, rapidly approaching is that MOTB, man. The mark of the beast, man. All right, the C hip, that micro technology, man. That this devil is going to try to try the whole world with that hour of temptation. This is why we're telling our people to walk circumspectly, arise from that dead. All right, become a follower of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, man. All right, stop running around aimlessly in the dark, man. Take heed to the light, man. Take heed to the wisdom and instructions, man. All right, take heed to the men that the Lord have set up to be over us, man. All right, to the uh, uh, take heed to the, to the sound doctrine, man. And only the hopeful, humble, fearful elect is going to do that, man. All right, the rest of these people are going to be walking around. Until until the, until the day of destruction, man. All right. And then they're going to be, oh, I didn't know. I didn't know. No, it's not that you didn't know. You didn't want to know, man. You didn't want to take heed, man. All right. And inevitably, the Lord gave you over to that spirit, man. Because when the Lord had gave that warning, when he when, when your eyes have seen, when you, when you heard the warning sound, hey, most of our people, took uh, they, they chose not to, to take heed, man. But the hopeful, humble, fearful elect, man, when we heard that warning, we heard that trumpet, we took heed to that trumpet blowing, man. So much so that we, hey, through the Spirit, and we say that humbly, that we became watchmen of the Lord, Lord willing. We those men with the hopes of being saved, man. As the Scripture say, but he shall be saved out of it. And that he is going into the hopeful, humble, fearful elect, man. All right, now it says redeeming the time because the days are evil. And, there, and the evil day that's approaching is that day when the devil is going to try to see hip the whole doggone world, man. 
All right. We're going to read that. I'm going to make this video straight to the point, man. All right. In regards to the MOTB, man. All right. Now, this is Revelation chapter 13 and 16 because we're going to read what the devil is going to try to do, man. All right. And we're going to read the penalty if you choose to say, you know what? I'm, I'm rolling with Esau. All right. If, I'm going to get my seat hip, man. I'm going to get my advance. I'm going I'm to get my, 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 I'm going to get my money. All right. Because Jake loved to chase the goddamn bag, so to speak, man, to chase the money and be in the world, man. All right. And all that's in this world is nothing but, as, as the scriptures say, man, the flesh profit of nothing, man. All right. But see, Jake is all about fulfilling the lust of their flesh, man. The pride of life, man. And that's not of the heavenly father and his only begotten son. That's of this world, man, that was given it to the wicked, man. All right. Now, this is Revelation 13 and 16. Now, it says, and he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Now, this mark is talking about the karagma. All right. That C hip technology, man. All right. Because when you look this word up, man, all right, it's different from the mark that's in, um, uh, 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 uh what's that? Ephesians. Uh, not Ephesians. That is different from the mark that's in, um, Wait a minute, Shalaki. I know it's the Old Testament. My mind. That's in Ezekiel chapter 9, Shalaki. It's different from the mark that's in Ezekiel chapter 9 and 4. Now, that mark, that mark in uh, Ezekiel is talking about the mark of exemption, man. All right? When it says, I put a mark upon those men that sigh and cry, that's talking about the mark of exemption. All right? Going into the hopeful, humble, fearful elect because hey, through the Spirit, Hey, and we say that humbly because when our apostles and our elders, we're the ones signing and crying for all the abominable things that'll be taking place in this in this society, man, amongst our people, man, that 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 love that gross darkness. Now, this mark right here in Revelation 13 is talking about the mark of the of the sea hip, man. All right, the karagma, man, that stamp, that incision, that cut that the devil wants to implant in you, man. All right. Now it says, um, Revelation 13 and 16, and he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So it's letting you know it's a physical thing, because if you can't buy or sell, that means you got to swap something out, man. All right. You, it, 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 you, that means you got to exchange something. All right. That means you got to have some some type of something that they need, man. And that's something that they want you to have is that see hip, man, that chip, man. All right. Because you're not going to be able to so-called buy, sell the trade unless you have that so-called karagma, that mark, man. All right. And, and this is that hour of temptation. This is the evil days that are approaching, man. This is that evil day that's approaching, man. All right. And if you aren't rooted in the spirit of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man. All right. If you don't stand for something, which is the truth, hey, you're going to fall for anything, which is Esau's lies, man. All right. And this is going to be the penalty for you that if you choose not to take heed to the warning. All right. To ignore the, the trumpet that's blowing. All right. This is going to be your this is going to be your penalty. This is going to be your downfall. This is the penalty for taking that 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 stamp. Now, this is Revelation 14, 9 and 10. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice. If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in their forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb. All right, because you if you take that step. All right, you get that karagma, that see hip, that that technology in your in, in your body. Guess what? You're saying that you you you're you're now you're saying that you're not the property of the Lord, man. All right, and in the presence of the, the of the Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach and the host of angels. Guess what? You're going to be destroyed, man. You're going to be as the scripture just said, man. You're going to be tormented with fire and brimstone, man. All right, you're going to be in that in in, in that um in that cup of the Lord's indignation, man. All right, destruction, man. You're going to be destroyed, man. All right. And that will be because you hey, pretty much you're, 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 you're pretty much going to say if you take that snap, you're saying that Esau. All right. Is your God, man. All right. And Esau has no power, man. The devil has no power, man. All right. So you're going to have to stand in, in this day, man. You hey, At the end of the day, man, don't take the sea hip, man. All right. We're, and we repeat, man, you're going to hear that from uh, uh, from from our head apostle, Elder Apostle Tahar. You're going to hear that down. From the from 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 the greatest to the least, man. You're gonna hear that from every man here at Great Millstone, man. Do not 
take that C hip, man. All right, because this is going to be your outcome, man. You're going to be destroyed in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, man. All right, so um, I hope this quick video has been edifying and good nourishment to the house of David. So I want to close by saying, Call Halayim La Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakah Kodash. Double honors to our apostles, our elders, our bishops here at Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well. And shalom to all you brothers across the four corners of this earth pushing this word with all righteousness and sincerity. Until the next time I do say shalom.